So for the purpose of this reassembly, we are going we're going to need to wet these seals. So these seals will go into this inner section of the lowest, after which we will insert these wipers on top like that. So this will go in first, then followed by this. So before we put it back in, we're going to wet this with the suspension oil first, then we will put it into this section of the lowest and press it in so that it fits nicely in place. Firstly, I'm going to wet these two seals. I'll just put it into this little container and I'll go to put the suspension oil. So we're just going to pour a bit of the oil onto the ring like that. So we're going to wet this ring so that it is soaked with the suspension oil. As you can see, the white will turn slowly turn yellow with the oil being absorbed into it. Okay, if there's not enough, you can put a bit more. So we're going to just wet it, make sure it absorbs like that. Okay, as you can see, it's absorbed already. It's fully absorbed the oil. Let's wait for a few seconds. Okay, once it's ready, we can now insert this into the lowest. So with the lowest um, position like this, you can now put the seal in place. Okay, you should sit nicely in place. Same goes on to the other side. So these two seals are now sitting nicely. Make sure there's no obstruction. Now that's done, we can put these wipers back into place. So literally just drop in the wiper and press it in firmly. You can actually use also a PVC tube. If it doesn't fit in, go in well. Just fit in a tube like this. Bigger diameter than the wipers. Put it in there. Give a good knock. Like that. Okay, so that make sure both sides are sitting well into this. Okay, so now the lowest has been inserted with the new seal and also the wipers. We are now ready to insert the stanchion into this lowest. As a last step here before we put back this tension in place you just make sure everything is clean on the outside you just give a good knock make sure nothing is in the lowest one is ready okay so we then take this whole unit we will push it all the way inserted it into the lowest as shown Before I do that, I'm going to insert this little rubber band marker so that I can use this to mark while adjusting the suspension. You just slide this in. So now you can just need to push it all the way in. Okay. Until we can see the two ends of the negative spring and also the fixed damper rod appearing at the two ends here okay as you see the screw thread okay so this is where the final step before we actually screw back this two section wipe off clean then we reinsert back the two screws okay fill up about five milliliters of suspension oil onto the air side of this shock absorber then we can screw back the bottom 
screw. Next, we prepare the 125 milliliters of suspension oil that will fill up onto the fixed damper side of the shockers. You can slowly press the shock absorber in and out. Then next, you can cap the top cap then secure with the wrench till it's tightened. We then wipe down all the oil, make sure all the screws are tightened, top and bottom. Now the next step is actually to use the high pressure pump to pump air and see if this expands. Now we're going to pump up the air section of the suspension. So for a rider of my weight, it's about 90 plus kilo. The pressure will be about 160 psi. So we're going to pump this up. So as we pump, you will see this section of the suspension will expand. So let's pump up to 160 psi. So it's almost there. So you just measure the length, so it's about 80 millimeters from the start to the end of the suspension. So this 80 millimeters travel and this suspension is now set for us to try out and then we we'll fix it in a bike then to test out the function of the suspension. Thank you for watching the video and this marks the end of the service and maintenance of this RockShop ATMM Duke C suspension. So please do click on the subscribe button so that you can keep be queue informed on all the new videos that I have for DIY stuff at Uncle Sally's project. Thank you for viewing, thank you for supporting my channel and take care and see you soon again and bye-bye.